Uh, let's see. Um, initially, when I started Young Justice, I was very excited to draw Impulse. Uh, Bart Allen, who later became Kid Flash. I was a big fan of his uh, solo series, written by Mark Wade and drawn by Humberto Ramos. So he was a character I liked a lot and was very excited to get to draw that character when I started Young Justice. And then once I started drawing the series, I became a, a big fan of Tim Drake, Robin, Superboy, Wonder Girl, all the characters. Uh, I developed a, a deep love for it. But Impulse was that first character that really intrigued me the most. to really uh, talk about the, 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 the cartoon series uh, since I, I was involved with the comic book, not the cartoon, so I, I was not involved with seasons one or two, though I did watch seasons one and two and enjoyed them immensely. Uh, I was on a panel at, at uh, Long Beach Comic Con in California uh, earlier, than, uh, or just a couple of months ago, uh, with the writer of the, my Young Justice series, Peter David, and uh, the, the, the head writer of the TV show and producer, Greg Wiseman. And he had, was stating, you know, they, that they were trying to get a season three going, needed the fans help to get a season three going, because they had plans for seasons up through season five. So they had everything ready to go, they just needed Warner Brothers to, to give the approval. So I'm very excited to see what they do, especially in the season two ending on that cliffhanger with Darkseid. It's like, oh boy, here we go, that should be awesome. So I look forward to seeing what they do, and if they can bring in other characters that we created in the comic book series, more like Secret, Empress, or Lobo slash uh, Slobo would be really fun to see those characters I helped co-create in the comics yeah. come to life on, in the cartoon like they did with my character Secret yeah. in the uh, Halloween episode of uh, season one. Uh, yes, Jeff and I only got to do one comic book story together. It was uh, Superman, Man of Steel, issue 121. Uh, Jeff and I have been friends ever since we both kind of we both kind of started working at DC at the same time. Um, myself doing Young Justice, he was doing Stars and Stripes, uh, Star Girl at the time. So we were both pretty new to DC, so we kind of bonded at that time. Um, and uh, we both kind of had an idea to, to do a Superman story. We were gonna we kind of pitched it as a, as a prestige format story, but it turned out the editor had a, uh, a slot in the Man of Steel series that he needed to build, so he asked Jeff and I to do that. So that's the only time Jeff and I have got... Oh no, I'm sorry. Jeff and I did work together on Team Titans during uh, the uh, Final Crisis story. Infinite Crisis, Final Crisis, there are so many crises yeah, at DC, it's hard to remember. Yeah. But we got to draw the Teen Titans issues uh, that just before the death of, of uh, Superboy, Connell Superboy. So Jeff Johns co-wrote those with classic Teen Titans writer Mark Wolfman. Yeah. So I got to work with two Teen Titans legendary writers on the same two-issue story arc. So this is the only time that I've gotten to work with Jeff. But my wife and I see Jeff and his wife fairly frequently, and he's definitely a, a, a good friend. Uh, I haven't had a chance to talk with Jeff about that, no. So I don't know what plans there are for the Teen Titans for either the big screen or the you know TV uh, series. Either way, I think it'll be you know it's going to hopefully be be really good. I would imagine that uh, team, the Teen Titans uh, would probably be their first step before Young Justice. Uh, I think because. Uh, They've established the Teen Titans characters, Robin, Cyborg, Starfire, Raven, Beast Boy. They're really grounded with, with the, the fans through their two cartoon series, whether it be Teen Titans or Teen Titans Go. So I think there's a lot of familiarity with those characters, and they're kind of prepping us for Cyborg in the motion pictures. That uh, those might lend itself to a Teen Titans show or movie a little easier, and then from there it could evolve into Young Justice, which would be a step between... Teen Titans, Young Justice, then Justice League. My personal opinion, who knows what Jeff has planned, but I'm sure it's gonna, whatever he has in the works, it's gonna be awesome, I can't. Uh, well, uh, I've enjoyed getting to draw comics for so many years, and I, and, and I consider it a blessing to get to work on all the different characters I have. At DC, I really love doing Young Justice. I did the entire, uh, pretty much the entire run of that series of all 55 issues. I only missed two issues. We had guest artists for two separate issues, but I did three double-sized Young Justice specials, which took a lot of time. So I really, really hold that series dear and, and near and dear and close to me. But over at Marvel, getting to draw Spider-Man is a huge honor, because I've been a Spider-Man fan since I was three years old. That's pretty much my entire life. Uh, so that character holds a lot of... Uh, uh, it holds a very special place in my heart as well, and also doing the Nightcrawler series. I'm a big X-Men fan since I was 14, that's when I started reading comics. I started with X-Men comics, reading Chris Claremont comics. He was a classic writer of the 1980s who wrote 
legendary stories like uh, the Dark Phoenix Saga and uh, Days of Future Past. So I grew up reading his comics, so a chance to work with him uh, on a series starring one of my favorite X-Men, Nightcrawler, yeah. is also just uh, one that really connected deeply for me. So those are like three of the projects that I really uh, have a fondness for. Let's see, I, mostly I've been working with uh, Marvel this year. Uh, I did a, a, a mini-series called The Amazing Spider-Man and Silk, Spider-Fly Effect. All four issues are out now, the trade paperback comes out this month. Uh, I finished a Deadpool mini-series called Deadpool Too Soon. Issue 1 just came out last month, issue 2 will be out this month, that's a four issue mini-series. And I just recently, just uh, about a week ago, finished drawing an issue of Spider-Man Deadpool, issue number 12. Uh, it's a series where Spider-Man and Deadpool team up every issue. And that issue 12 is a holiday-themed issue, and it comes out in December. I'm just now starting a project with Marvel for 2017, but it's so new, they haven't announced it yet, so I can't say anything about it. But it is a Marvel project for 2017. Maybe you can give a tease or something. Just <laughs> I, can't, I, I dare not even run the risk of giving a tease. The greatest tease I can give is that it's a Marvel, a Marvel project. But I'm also still talking with my friends at DC, and there's hopes that I might be able to do something at DC Rebirth if an opportunity arises. But uh, nothing, nothing's uh, planned out for that just yet. Just talking with my editorial friends at DC Comics. That would be good. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Uh-huh.